What's up guys? Today I'm going to make something really cool. Um, this has been going around for a while. This is the whipped coffee. You see the tutorials all over Facebook. I've never made it before. Um, so I'm just going off of their tutorials, which is very easy. It's so easy I can just remember it without looking. It's going to be two tablespoons of Folgers Classic Roast. Well, you can use whatever, but it's got to be instant coffee. So it's two tablespoons of that, two tablespoons of hot water, two tablespoons sugar, and one tutorial I saw said add a splash of vanilla, so I'm going to do that too. I need a bigger kitchen with more surface area. Now comes the part that a regular mixer would probably be a lot more handy for, but I'm going to use this. Okay, let's make the coffee. Nice cold glass of ice, homemade almond milk, that's my preferred thing. And then I'm just going to put that on top of there. Okay, let's see. That seems about how it's supposed to be. I got a little messy with it though. Let's see now though, is this worth the trouble? My arm is kind of hurting after that. Does this taste good? Okay, so you have a distinct layer of whipped coffee and milk. I'm just going to kind of marry those two together a little bit so I can get the whole effect going on here. So while we don't have Starbucks to go to, because we're staying inside, this is the way to get your coffee fix. It's not fresh ground, fresh brewed coffee, but uh, I gotta say, that's pretty good actually. It tastes like a like a really creamy latte. The almond milk that I had in there is not that creamy. It's kind of thin. But with this whipped coffee mixed in there, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So this is my review of the whipped coffee. I'm going to say it's pretty damn good. You know what to do when you see a cool video like this on YouTube. Peace. See ya. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and click the links and all that good stuff. Hopefully you're all doing well, staying safe, and staying inside.